Do you get tired of websites throwing up a fence so you can't use them? Do you get tired of them communicating with your browser on a really friendly bromance level basis where they seem to have more control over your web browser than you do? Would you like to just beat the living crap out of Mite.com's ability to infest your machine or play that stupid playback video? All right, well, here's your opportunity to fix it. Right-click Element. Then you hit Inspector, and then you look for the Add Block Plus button because you have Add Block Plus and its Element Hiding Helper. But after version 3, you're not allowed to use an easy interface or be able to back up your hiding rules and a cleanup kit. Why? Because corporate says no, you're not allowed to. And if you have older versions, oh, it's legacy, but you're not allowed to edit them or add to them. Why? Because they don't want you to. Because... People like me, and maybe you, use Adblock Plus or NoScript or whatever to simply make it to where websites can't control what happens to our computers and do things against our will. We tell them no because we, the people, should be more powerful than a corporation because corporations aren't people, so screw them. So anyway, are you missing the ability to hit the Adblock Plus button when you hit Inspector or any of the other methods? Can you add element hiding rules, or are they been hidden? Did it update against your will like it did me and completely crap out my computer? Well, let's disable that. First of all, stop assuming you're being dealt with fairly, and stop being fair to your opponent. If your opponent's unfair, don't be fair to it. Yes, the custom filters include foul language, so we'll just use this one. Restore backup from such and such, which is not really true. Or restore your own backup. Well, duh, that's the one I wanted, and it was taken away from me. And, of course, I had my own filter rules, and it's a simple text file which people can share. You have to use Adblocks Plus 2.9, and you can only get it from certain websites. LegacyCorrector.org only has versions less than version 3, which is the one you're going to have to use. I can't find another source. And if you know of a website that has the same version, like 2.9, please give a link below. Legacy Collector, and then there's also downloads, Adblock Plus Org dev builds for versions 3 and up. We don't want them because the user interface doesn't look like this. You're not allowed to edit anything. What does it look like? I'm not even going to show this abomination against user interface technology. May they burn in laughable Microsoft-induced hell for writing a user interface that makes it where I can't find any way of using it and removing our ability to back up our filters and restore them so they don't have power over them, that's a bitch move. So let's go after them. The next part of this is the Element Hiding Helper, Adblock Plus, and it has to be version 1.4. 1.3 won't do it. And where you get that from is add-on thunderbird.net, and you get the English language version or whatever, and you can get 1.4 from them. Even though it's supposed to be for Thunderbird, it'll work under... Um, Firefox. Then Anksoft No IP Org AS Pub Misc Web Firefox Archive has versions under 1.4. If you want to go below, let's say 2.9 and 1.4, you could do 2.0 and 1.0, and it might work. These are the latest versions I could get that'll work under Windows 7 under Firefox 52 ESR. That's what I have to use. This lets me have the ability to manually edit each thing instead of having it quote unquote manage an update. Yes, Firefox decided to take an order from MindFewer the server at at, uh, at Mozilla Corporation. They sent out a push demand to try to get it to auto-update everything against my will. I've disabled updates on my machine completely. Now I have to do it manually again, all over again. Because corporate doesn't care and they don't want you using older versions. And it's not for security reasons. That's a big fat fucking lie. It's so they can make sure that you have to look at ads and they play nice with Time Magazine or whatever. Why? Because they get sued if you win. So let's make sure that they have a bad day. Install Adblock Plus 2.9 and its helper 1.4, and then we can share these back and forth. The exact file size for all of these will be listed below, and I'll have a video that tells you how to email each other a copy of this or store it someplace as a zipped archive that's got a password so that it can't detect you're trying to share files that are executables, God forbid, and you can actually share your files without being argued with. I might even make my own uh, uh, Google Docs version of these. Because this is the last pairing that works. Um, I'm going to have to include uh, all my configs this way. Again, today, my copy of Firefox that has been told never to update went ahead and updated a bunch of things because it snuck in a yes button on a page when I was trying to click no on something. 
It literally went out of its way to fake getting permission. And then it updated everything to today's date and broke every goddamn bit of it. And I've had to spend almost the entire day rebuilding in order to make this work at all. I'm going to be lucky if it works for more than a couple of days. But hey, you didn't have to work so hard. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.